Hello everyone, I am Saijas and welcome back to my channel SciTech Core. In today's video, I will try to do the OTG uh, Pender support test in the IQR7 smartphone as you can see friends. So right now I do have the different kind of uh, Type-C pen drives and the normal USB pen drives. So let's see uh, whether the phone will be able to uh, support the Type-C pen drive and the normal pen drive or not. So this is the testing which I will be trying to do. And during this time, I will try to play the 4K video directly from the pen drive itself. So let's see whether the phone will be able to handle this kind of 4K performance or not. So so this is a type c uh, pen drive which i got and which is a two-in-one kind of pen drive so which is a really helpful for a lot of users so before uh, connecting the pen drive so try to enable this otg option which is present here as you can see friends so in this way you will be able to uh, give the permission for the phone to detect so if you don't give this kind of uh, permission before so even if you connect the pen drive the phone will be uh, not able to uh, respond anything so make sure to turn the otg on before connecting the pen drive or any kind of usb devices so in case if you are having any other queries regarding this iq7 smartphone so make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos which are going to come on this uh, smartphone in the next couple of days so i'll try to post as many as videos as possible on this phone so let me try to connect, connect the pen drive as you can see so as soon as you connect the pen drive you can see on the top or uh, you do get the notification saying that uh, it's detected detected and send me the screenshot after subscribing to my channel in the instagram and there you can ask me the queries and definitely I'll try to make a video on that particular topic. So you do get uh, by default uh, two types of file managers here by default. So without even installing anything. So these are the two different uh, file managers you can clearly see friends USB storage. So which is right now I'm using 128 GB. So right now I'm trying to play the directly a uh, 4K video from the pen drive itself. So this is what I'm trying to do the test whether the phone will be able to handle the this kind of performance out of the OTG pen drive or not. So that is what I'm trying to concentrate at the moment. And phone was able to uh, successfully play the 4K video without any issues. And when you're trying to uh, remove the pen drive, so make sure to click that uh, eject option. So before removing the pen drive safely. So you can use single hand or uh, two hands, two finger uh, gesture. So you can use single, fi single finger or two finger gestures, uh, both of them will be working. So once you click eject, the pen drive got successfully ejected and let me try to connect the normal pen drive. So this is a normal USB type pen drive. So let's see whether this normal USB type pen drive will be able to detect or not. So that is what I'm going to test right now. And even the normal USB uh, type pen drive is also got detected. But you need the type C to USB adapter. So using this adapter, you can connect the pen drives as well, friends, for the IQ7 smartphone without any kind of issues. But I would highly suggest you to buy the Type-C to a normal 2-in-1 type pen drive, so which will be really helpful for you in terms of the transferring the data from one device to another device. So that will give you the really good uh, benefit. So this OTG option will be automatically turned off. So if you don't use for about more than five minutes, it will automatically turn off. So no need to worry about uh, turning off, but you know you need to only turn on before starting the test. So thank you for watching this video, friends. See you in the next video. Until then, make sure to check the playlist for each and every smartphone which I created. That will give you a clear idea. Bye.